once again on behalf of Virginia Baptist Mission Board and Baptist churches all over Virginia, thanks, Virginia, for all that you've done to respond so far to the situation in Haiti. As you are well aware by watching the news, uh, it's still a very tenuous situation in Haiti. They're still having aftershocks. Uh, supply lines are still crowded getting in and out of Haiti. Um, so the situation there is still very disastrous and we are working hard with, with our many partners nationwide to find the best way that we can respond. You need to know that we are partnering with people who are on the field right now serving. There have been some teams from the states that have gone in to serve in medical situation as well as a few teams that have gone in to do some assessments. When they return next week, we plan on hearing about some ideas that we might uh, continue to respond um, with teams. However, we're not currently uh, requesting any teams at this point. Right now, Virginia Baptists have been generous in their prayers that have gone up on behalf of the Haitians, as well as financially. Right now, we have uh, Virginia Baptists have raised uh, nearly $40,000 uh, for the effort, and for that, we are grateful. 100% of that will go to the field and will be used to buy the necessary items for those people in need. Uh, you may have heard about uh, two new responses where Virginia Baptists are able to get their hands dirty a little bit in the coming weeks. Um, February 5th and 6th, Friday and Saturday, um, we're having a Stop Hunger Now event where participants can come and join together to package meals. We're working with the Methodist uh, Church here in the Richmond area and together we're going to package 142,000 meals, which is enough to go into a 20-foot container that will then be shipped to Haiti as soon as they're ready to receive it and will be distributed through Stop Hunger Now's partner on the field there in Haiti that we that is very reliable, whom we have a lot of trust with. So we're looking forward to doing that event and seeing those meals get into Haiti as soon as possible. The other thing that we're doing is collecting medical supplies. Um, we're collecting these supplies across the state asking churches to collect them in their churches, maybe gather together with other churches or their association, and put them in a car and carpool them down here uh, the week of the 15th of February. Our office will be open to receive those packages. We'll take them, we'll sort through them, uh, we'll load them on a truck the following week, and that truck will head down to Florida. A good number of those will uh, go to a, church, a Baptist church in Florida that's agreed to be a warehouse uh, for the time being for the medical supplies until they can get in country. A portion of those are probably going to stay here in Virginia to be used by our own teams, uh, medical teams, should they be able to go in in the coming weeks so that when they go in country, they'll be able to take supplies with them. The North American Baptist Fellowship, Baptist World Alliance, Southern Baptist Convention, Cooperative Baptist Fellowship are all working together to make this happen. So we're excited about being a part of all of that with our partners. So couple of ways for you to respond there and we look forward to providing you other opportunities because we know that the heart of Virginia Baptist want to reach out and want to help so we appreciate what you've done so far and we look forward to the opportunities that are ahead of us as we continue to respond to this uh, horrific need there in Haiti so thanks